Hello, third graders. My name is Penny, and I'm here to help you with your dictation so that you're ready for the Unit 7 Foundation Test. Yay! Great. So grab your whiteboard and just dry erase marker. So here we go. Okay, the first sound is ah, uh, ah, uh. and now I know you are third graders. So don't just give me the you with the breath. You know other ways. Pause it now if you need more time. Here we go. Here we go. So of course, you know the you with a breath on it says ah. Uh, like you up, up. You know that? You learned that a long time ago. But don't forget, any vowel can make that sound if it's a schwa. Next sound. The next sound is oh. Oh. Okay, I hope you didn't just do the letter O because you know other ways. So if it's a long O sound, you should have the macron. And you also know the V dash E way. O dash E. So, oh, good job. All right, the next sound I want is I. I, this is the last sound, I. More than one way. Okay, let's see how you did. All right, you should definitely have this I with the macron. Um, then you know the I dash E, but don't forget, don't forget that Y. That Y in an open syllable at the end of the word. It can say I and E, don't forget. All right, now we're moving on. Okay, so I hope you got the I with the macron, the I dash E, and don't forget the Y. The Y says I. Sometimes when it's at the end of the word in an open syllable, it also says E. Okay, now we are moving on to the sound like word. Make sure you listen. You listen very well to the sentence. Just write the word though. The first one is flower. I saw a beautiful yellow flower outside. Write the word. Okay, let's see how you did. Flower is spelled like this. This one has the W. Put a little flower on there so I don't forget. <laughs> okay, next word is also flower, but listen to the sentence. I ran out of flower and I had to go get some more at the store. Oh my God, delicious. Okay, flower. Okay, let's see how you did. This is flour. This is the white stuff that you bake with. O-U-R. All right, the next word is, oh my goodness, I totally forgot the next word. What is it? Oh my goodness. Um, throne, it's throne. Okay, listen to the sentence. She sat on her big golden throne. Let's see if you know it. Throne. Okay, I did a little picture again to help those of you remember if they need it. So this word, oh, where, is the, where is the voice? This word throne has that long E and it also, it looks like that word one is in there, like one, two, three. So I remember it by thinking of like, there's one king or one queen sitting on a throne. This is the one with that word O-N-E, one. All right, let's see if you can do the other throne. So the sentence would be, the trash was thrown all over the room. Throne, see if you remember. Okay, I think you guys are really gonna like this picture for throne. All right, here it is, here it is. Okay, Brown has the O-W. O-W usually says ow, but not in this word. Jesus, language. Anyways, ow 
you can think of it like if something was thrown at somebody's head and it hit them, it would they be like, ow. So this one has the OW, which usually says ow, but not on this word. Helps us remember this is the one that means like to throw. Okay, enough of that. Now we're down to some business here. We have some words, and these words are going to have suffixes on the end of them. <sighs> remember what to do when you have to add a suffix and the word ends in a Y. That poor Y. Nobody likes the Y. Only those really nice suffixes with I's. <sighs> so you have to change the Y to an I. Okay. Like the word happiness. I saw the happiness all over her face. Happiness. Just the word and mark it. Happy. Okay, let's see how you did on the word happiness. Okay, happy has two syllables and that last syllable, E, happy. Ooh, that's an open syllable that is ended in a Y. But I took the Y and I changed it to an I because that suffix, ness, would not be okay with it. So I had to change it to an I. Add the N E S S ness. So the first syllable, hap, is a closed syllable. And P is open. <laughs> open syllables and in long vowels. This one had to be changed to an I, but it still makes that long E sound. If you're super fancy, like. Okay, now we're going to a not so happy word. This word is crying. <laughs> I was sad, so I was crying. <laughs> Pause the video, make sure you mark it. All right, let's see how you did. Crying, cry is the base word. Cry has one syllable, ends in an I, a long I sound made by the Y. We don't need to change it. We don't need to change it because that ING is totally nice and totally okay with that Y. So just slap and circle, slap and circle. Crying, okay. Baby, and I have more than one baby, so it's a baby. Babies, there are five babies in the bucket. There are five babies in their car seat. Babies. Okay, the word was babies. Let's see how you did. Okay, baby is the base word. Baby has two syllables. They're both open. Bay ends in a long A sound. B ends in a long E sound, even though it's made by a Y. But we had to change it to an I because that ES hates the Y. Hmm. So the I was a Y, but now it's an I. And then we added the ES. Are you ready for the next one? All right, let's do the word try. Tried. I tried to tell you to mark the word. Tried. Okay, I hope you tried your best. <laughs> okay, okay, all right. <laughs> this is the word, try. Try has a Y on the end, but we had to change it to an I because that BD is in that club that hates the Y. <laughs> what a sad club. <sighs> Don't ever do a club like that, no, no. Anyways, focus. The ED is added, so we just slapped it on there and circled it after we changed the Y to an I. This is an open syllable. All right, let's do a review trick word. Hmm, I want the word tomorrow, tomorrow. <clears throat> okay, good. Tomorrow, just the word tomorrow. I'm fine, I'm fine with that now. Okay, if you haven't learned the tomorrow trick, 
Here it is. The word tomorrow is just putting three little, little words together. You can spell every single one of these words. Tom, like that dude's name is Tom, or like I want cookies or cake. And then the word row, like row, row, row your boat. Put them together, what do you get? Tomorrow, Tom, or row. Yes, tomorrow. Remember it on the test, tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Next one, I want the word ear. This is such a weird word. Like, how do you spell that? E ear. Good luck. All right, let's see how you did. The word year, I say E A. Ear. Oh, how do we ever learn this language? Okay, now I'm going to give you a really hard one, but I think you can do it. Here it is. The base word is galaxy. Like we live in a galaxy, but I want you to make it galaxies. Like there's more than one galaxy. Look, there are galaxies. Good luck. Okay, don't tell your teachers, but the reason I'm doing this one is because it's literally on the test. So I really hope you're paying attention. Shh. Don't listen. Okay. Galaxy. The base word. Gal X E has three syllables. So listen up. The first syllable, Gal G A L, is a closed syllable. Gal X A X is also closed. But the third syllable here, that is a Y normally. But we had to change it to an I because that yes made us do it. So galaxies. I know that ES sounds like a Z sometimes, galaxies. All right, boys and girls, that is it for me, Penny, and your dictation practice.